Uh, this is a video about how to find the uh, the angles of triple tapered needles for Keyheim. This is my uh, jetting spreadsheet for Keyheim. And if you scroll down, it has a listing of different uh, different needles that are 65 millimeters long. Some of them are uh, triple tapered and some of them are just double tapered. First let's uh, go over how to tell whether or not it's a triple tapered or a dual taper. Because the angle differences between them are so slight there's no way you can tell even putting it up against a ruler or looking at it or anything. Okay so since a typical Keyhine dual tapered needle is a little bit more than 26 uh, millimeters long and the uh, second and third taper of the triple is close to 31 millimeters long. We're just going to go by the 26 and go halfway if it's a if it's a if that segment is a single taper the measurement halfway uh, from 26 is going to be halfway between these two measurements. So uh, mark the needle at 13 millimeters from the end and 26 from the end. Measure at the three locations. Write it down and then use this formula to figure out what it should be if it's single. If, if that's um, if that's a single taper right there. Okay, so it's 2.5 minus 3.7 divided by 2 plus 1.37 is 1.935. That's what it would be if, if that taper was just one angle, but it's not as two angles, which makes it fatter right in the middle than it would be if it's a single taper. And if you do this on the N3EF, according to this, it matches. Okay. So if that's very close to what you figure, then, then that's uh, a dual taper needle because that segment is one taper. Okay, so if it's a dual tapered needle, this is what I do. Looking at the available dual tapered needles, most of them are around 26.6 millimeters long on the second taper. And the first taper is at least 8 millimeters long. So I use those two numbers here, uh, measuring up from the end of the taper, marking the needle, measuring the diameter, in this case 2.53, going up 8 millimeters, Measuring the diameter, in this case 2.68. Uh, putting those numbers into the uh, binder on my spreadsheet. So it'll be this one right here, the taper angle finder. Length between diameters 8 millimeters. Start diameter 2.68, end diameter 2.53. It says the taper angle is 1.07. So that 1.07 is then used in to put into the taper length finder. So putting the 1.07 into the taper degrees. Start diameter is the shaft diameter of 2.75. And the end diameter is this diameter right here. It's 2.68 because that 2.68 is still less than 2.75, which means there's more taper to be had. And so I want to know the length of that extra section of taper. So that's what this will tell me, the length between diameters. So putting all that into the taper length finder, I get 3.73. Adding that to 8, I get a first taper length of 11.73. But since the, the program is not asking for that length, but the total taper length and the length of the second taper, I added that to 26.6 to get 38.3 total taper length, which goes right here. And the second and third taper length, which of course is not a third, but that length goes right here, 26.6. And I'm uh, giving it a, a custom ID Then when I put it into the program, it will show me what this 
what the graph the graph will show me what the, the jetting will be like in this case it's too lean so that's it for dual tapered now we'll go on to triple tapered so if you look at these three and their their lengths of the different tapers you'll find that the third taper varies from 14.9 to 15.5 the second from 15.4 to 15.9 and the first from 4.5 to 7.6 so what I've done is I've averaged these two to get these two lengths and we're just going to go with the smallest size on this one so if you have uh, a 65 millimeter needle you measure from the the end not the very tip if it becomes a point uh, the end of the taper up 15.2 millimeters and you measure that diameter then you go 15.6 millimeters up and you measure that diameter and you go 4.5 millimeters up and you measure that diameter and some of these needles will will become have a step here to become fatter before it does that measure the the width of that straight portion of the needle um, and that will give you these five measurements right here okay so then if you go to my spreadsheet and scroll down you'll be able to use these these uh, binders right here so you use the taper angle finder just out of curiosity you you'll do it for these two but those angles aren't even uh, used in um, when you enter the data. Let me show you. So these are the ones that I know about. And then if you, the ones that aren't known, you have to do the measurements and enter them into one of these rows right here. So this one I'm working on right now, I just labeled it as custom one. And then all the data will go in here. And then later to see it on the graph, you also have to put the same idea right here, which would be custom one. Just click on it and type it in. And it'll show you the graph right here. This is showing a, a pretty lean mid-range. Okay, so going back here, you'll put those, those lengths in, 4.5. And then that, that measurement, 2.68, right here. That measurement, 2.64, right here. And it'll tell you the taper angle. This is the only one you really need to know because we're going to use that angle to find out the, the total length of that first section. Because, of course, 2.68 is not 2.71. It's less, which means that uh, that taper continues on until it reaches 2.71. So, so when you put 4.5 there, and then those two numbers here and here, it tells you 0.51, and use that 0.51 here. And the start diameter would be this diameter right here, and the end diameter is, uh, I think, this one right here, yeah, 2.68. And it'll tell you the, the, the length of that taper, which in this case is... 3.37 running it up to 3.4 adding that to 4.5 that distance right there gives us 7. Point. You need that 7.9 to, to be able to add up to these other two distances to get the total taper length in this case is 38.7 which you enter right here okay and that is about it yeah it's pretty pretty straightforward even though you're going to be off a few fractions of a millimeter here it don't matter you know you're going to get you're going to get very close to reality doing that uh, I'm not going to say that that's always this is always a good scheme because I found one one uh, triple tapered needle which is the N85F which right here is 13.1 millimeters. 
but in most cases this is going to this is going to be in the ballpark because most of them are like this scheme right here okay so that's it my friend uh have fun figure it out